Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, before we start, I'm gonna grab this, because I've seen this, like, three times in previous videos while I was editing, and keep remembering, keep forgetting to go pick that up. It's a free uh, virus, uh, hanging off the air conditioner. But I came back to the building that Surat's based in. Uh, wow, that is some bad morale pattering. I came back to this building because something I forgot to do earlier came up, came to me, and that is... It's somewhere. I think it's around here. Yes. It's these two. Aha! See this? There's a crack in the wall. We'll come back to that. Now, you see these two guys here? I could have at any point come back up here and I could have clocked these guys and I could have clocked the guy when he goes in, but I never did that. Mainly because I, I just forgot to do it. And in fact, I did it in a previous recording that I had them sending the scrap. The main problem is, is that these two guys are actually guarding a room that has, as you can see, some of the guys we had to talk to. Or coerce, as I guess you can say. So we actually had to deal with all six of them when I could have had dealt with four. Because if these two, if these other four guys had loaded in after these two were knocked out, they wouldn't have given a shit. They'd just be lying on the ground. That's far enough. Leave quietly and you won't get hurt. Nice golden ox you got there, asshole. Okay, okay, okay. So, what we're gonna do is first we're gonna quick save for my own convenience. Then we are going to... Drag, drug him. Now, this is as good as time as any to check out... I didn't mean to bring that out. Stun gun. This is as good as time as any to try out the remote grenade or remote bombs or whatever they're called. I wonder how I remote detonate that. Do I have a remote? Hold on. Hmm. I think I use this to throw it. Oh, I de it's right in the corner. I, I detonated by holding G. Okay. Okay, we can. I can deal with that. I'm gonna take machine pistol ammunition and his pocket secretary. Oops. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Sniper Elite 2 lately, and the um, go to cover button is different than here, where it's the right click. Obviously, the right click in that game is bringing up your scope. Someone over there. Yep. See ya. I don't know why he came up. Me neither if I'm gonna shoot them. Nothing makes sense. I know something was there. Come on! Come around the corner! Oh, fuck the both of you. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Don't come no closer, Slick. Back off. Come on, come on. Uh, I sound like he saw me. Are you gonna come out? I want him to come out to the hallway. Gunshots! Yo, someone there? <laughs> Wait, you, that didn't work? Gotta stay focused. It, now, the other guys didn't even care, which is good for me. Probably because that door is locked. Oh, do I have a rating for that? I don't even remember. I don't, it doesn't matter. I have the number. 3-3. Three, three. No one in particular. This is the spot, man. Someone's playing. Whoa, that's not good. Oh, I actually hit him. Sweet. 
Okay, it's a little late on the remote grenade, but you got a good idea of how this thing works. I was hoping to knock the guy out when he was still laying on the wall, but as soon as I opened the door, I guess their AI kicked in, and they did, in fact, come to, their, come to the other guy's aid. Why not take the shotgun cartridges? Well, I could have been stealthier on that, I admit. A nice free stealth word. I'm going to hack here. Capture. This is actually probably going to be a tough one. Oh, I'm good so far. Fortification has a higher chance of detection than just capturing. It's, I remember, I think I mentioned that before. So, yeah, once you're caught, it doesn't matter. That's why I wait. Capture notes. Spam. He's got. He's gonna take forever. I'm fine. Access granted. You start to hear that pulsating sound once you get um, spam. Ow! Fuck! What was that? Damn it! Christ! Okay, I don't even know if you heard that in the recording, but sometimes the switching thing, this sound effect, will tr like quadruple over itself and come out extremely loud in gameplay. Okay, I think I'm good. So that's objective one out of four for da cloaks and daggers completed. I can probably put that gun away now. Do I have a practice skill point waiting? I do, actually. I didn't even think to put that in. We're almost up to number five! And in fact, now that we have number four, we can steal from our, our gun dealer. But first off, let's sell him some stuff. What do you want? I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Don't even give a shit. I bombed this one off in the building, a room above us. Okay, so I got my shotgun. I'm just going to give you that for another 750 creds. Mm, I can probably use that to get. Oh, sweet. I'm going to buy one of those. Oh, that's selling. I'm a dumbass. He doesn't even sell it. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, the main benefit of working for this guy, because Gray, um, Grayson or whatever his name is, is a way more bigger selection, but this guy has a silencer. Okay, no, this guy does not like me going in here. But he doesn't see you open the door, which is nice. Okay. I'm gonna leave that door open. He can't see me around the corner, and his, that girl is asleep. Ah, uh, but there is something on the thing there. What is that? There's a PDA. And in fact, it is one of the few Daryl's PBAs for the achievement that I'm probably not gonna get. Actually, I'm gonna quick save before this, because this one's hard as hell. I remember this one. In fact, I might even try one of those throwy things at it, but there's even worse. The number of security rating here is a little deceptive, because this security rating 4 is harder than some of the 5s. It's usually a balancing act between necessity versus reward. Like, if it's something really, really nice, but very expendable, it'll have a higher one, but not necessarily be any easier. You want to fortify the hell out of it. Nuke in the hell. Access granted. Yeah, I just burned through three nukes, but you have a shitload of those, so don't worry about it. What do we get for our efforts? We get that pocket secretary for one thing. We get that. We get that. We get that. And let's take a look at that security node. What did we what did we get for that PDA? These are a couple of codes for a very hard lock outside, actually. Exit. And this computer's unlocked anyway. Disconnect. Hey guy. Nothing suspicious here. I'm on. I'm just going. Alright, now I can hack this door. 
Do this. Hacky, hacky, hack. Lots of hacking in this game. I wasn't getting what I said that earlier. This was a very common setup I see, actually. Uh, not quite yet. That was dumb. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, I got a little uh, greedy there. Oh man, I'm getting way better this time. Ooh, look at that! Oh! And I got new virus back. Clean sweet. Granted. I got one of each virus, I got some scripts, I, or I got some XP, and really not much else. But it was worth it. Another newspaper. I don't think this newspaper says anything different from the previous ones. I think they all say the same thing on any given map. Uh, uniting the world. Nothing interesting. Closing the door. Going into the other room. Going in here. No code found. Hack the computer. Hack the computer. This is a mess. What the hell? Transfer. Spam. Fortify. Fortify. Four, oh shit. Fortify. Fortify the world. That'll slow him down a bit more. I'm fine. I got something out of it. 100 XP. Extra long questions. Oh, that was MSN. I probably should have meant to turn that off before I start recording. Disconnecting. Opening door. Stupid radio. iPod home. It looks like the, this thing's been like iPod so far, and this thing is like the iPod home. That's literally how every radio in the entire game is like. You know, everyone plugs that universal peripheral machine uh, device they're carrying around with them and listen to whatever's on it. That can, that's why I can't get in here from the background floor, in case you're wondering. Okay, I'm finally done in this building, and it's been 19 minutes from my end. I'm going to cut the footage down. Because i got to really got to get progress, because, man, this game really drags its heels in Detroit. I'm going to go to this building next. Now, this is the apartment we were in before that was rigged to blow the entire building down to the fucking ground if anyone went into the bedroom. Clearly, this guy does not have, bring any women to his apartment. In fact, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even sleep in there because he, there's really no way to do so. Fortunately, the door is unopened for us already. One piece of incriminating evidence. I might have already taken it. Oh, it's right, it's that thing. Okay. I haven't been on this computer already. Yes, I was. That's where I found the security, the gate, uh, number for the gate. Well, that's been done. Even though I got the codes for the two security level 5s outside, I might just hack them anyway for the XP, but if I do that, I'm probably going to do it off screen. It's nothing, all that's in there is basically guns and ammunition, like just a nice big surplus, which I'm going to put to use for a little non-canonical experiment that I'm going to orchestrate a little later. Okay, next we're going to the main feature of this episode. This is the one I was talking about, by the way. I have the code for that. That's why I just got from hacking the Surat's computer. Now, I'm going to go this way, and in Derelict Row, I am going to show you the main, uh, the main presentation of this episode, which is a stealth run. Now, see, there's two ways you can get into Derelict Row. You can sneak your way in, or you can kill your way in. But you don't want to kill your way in because of the bonus now in, involved with um, Jenny. So instead, we're gonna go first. We gotta go over here because behind door number one is the weapon. Now, there's actually a couple of guys behind these boxes, and if I had the strength augmentation, I could lift the boxes. But the weapon in question is a crossbow. And we had the bolts. So now that we have a crossbow, a very pretty much it's pretty much just a, uh, like a clown weapon. It's a stealthy, long-range killing weapon that bolts people to the walls. It's not exactly what you would call it discreet. Uh, I don't think I have to go up there quite yet. I don't even think I got to go up there until I come back here later in the game. You weren't even talking to anybody. You talking to each other? 
All right, stealth time. Quick and saving. Do to do. He's gonna kill himself with that shit. See, on the upside, at least sneaking through Derelict Row is incredibly goddamn easy. You gotta do a bit of waiting here and there, though, like here. That's all I gotta say. You're just wrong. And that ends the argument. Ong, 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 ong. It's a great shirt. Very coherent. In fact, that guy's entire wardrobe is pretty stupid looking, I gotta say. Notice everyone's gray, by the way. They don't like me being in here. Kind of goes without saying. I haven't done this in about... Since the game came out. Whenever that was. It, like, it must have been months ago. I think it was August. And I know this place like the back of my hand. In fact, I'm going to knock that... No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. I forgot if it was a good, good or bad idea to do that. But I'm fine. No one saw that. Let's drag him back into the hallway so no one. These guys don't move and find them. I think they move. Actually, getting around these two is actually the hardest part of the Derelict Row search, sneaking run. I don't have another pistol because I just sold it. Quick saving. It's getting around this corner back here that's going to be a pain in the fucking ass. See? Didn't I tell you it was a stupid idea to let those purity first assholes set up the Assholes. Yeah, but it wasn't our voice acting in this game is so deliciously terrible, man. Everybody else, so what's the big deal? Come on. These fucks have been coming in here promising all sorts of glory and bullshit if we join them. And all they're doing is getting us killed. You're just jealous because they never took you. After the way they fucked up their op in Milwaukee Junction, they should have just blown up that building sky high with every fucking robohogger inside it. Sanders is all the slang in this game is so painful. Okay, do you guys move? You move. Okay, move. Move! Someone over there? No, there wasn't. Now piss off. Not gonna look under? I could probably go right now, but I don't want it. You fucking didn't. Doesn't matter. I didn't get it. This doesn't count as getting caught. That guy turns around at one point. Or he doesn't. No one here. No, not or not. Now go away. Hey, out of saving. Forgot about that. Yeah, I think I said this last episode where it's been about three weeks since I played this. It's been about another three weeks since this time. Real time. Yeah, the game is pretty blatant about which way you gotta go to sneak through here. Oh, piss off! This door gotta be guarded 24/7. You hear me? I hear you, man. That rocket launcher is sweet. Rocket? How the fuck did you guys get a rocket launcher? And ain't nobody gonna jack it. Got I got you. Oh, I'm coming back for that. Just check inside once in a while, in case someone tries to get in through the vent. You feel me? I feel you. I feel you, dudes. I feel you good. So, of course, you gotta get through a vent to get it. Not like there's any other mode of uh, transportation in this fucking game. Uh, and around this corner here. Uh, do I, does he come around here? Yes. Man, that is an interesting corner. That, that is a nice corner. Uh-oh. Down you go. Come 
come with me. Oh, fuck off. This game lets... The game disconnects you from the grappling motion way too easily. Like, I can't get him over this fucking bar. Come on. Come on! Oh, you gotta be sitting... You, have, you can't be serious. You're not gonna come in here, are you? There we go. And now I'm gonna find your ass. I should probably go out and grab the two bullets he had in that gun. How effective. Oh, three. I'm sorry. You're just packing so much ammunition. And we have an ammunition count. We got grenades. We have ammunition. We got more ammunition. We have machine pistol ammunition. We have a combat rifle. And we have... That thing. Why can't I pick it up? That's why. What was... Oh, that's a crossbow, right. Well, what am I gonna ditch? What's worth the least? Well, first I'll do this. Ammunition count. Combine. I want to hold it for another gun, but you're kind of playing my hand here. See, no, it doesn't actually add anything, but it doesn't let me until there's space. Now, I, there's a wall up there I can break, but I don't have to go that way yet. I have to come back here. Instead, we're going to go this way. Oops. I did miss the wrong button. I hope I didn't screw something up. But of course, while we're down here, there's something else we're going to get. Now, here's the situation. We got four guys over there, I think. And we want to go over there. Without getting seen. I gotta wait for that guy in the middle to look away. Their heads what counts, not their torso. I remember mentioning that in the first episode. Okay. And which way is he looking now? He's looking this way. Look away. And I'm past. Okay, now. I want to get into this wall where the bars bend up and there is in fact a crack because there's something back there of exceptional value. I don't know if this will be thrown up this will be damaging the um, quest requirement for Ginnyville. Let's find out. Should we use another remote grenade or should we use conventional explosives? Let's use a no, I want to keep the landmines. Uh, don't put that out. Pull this out. All right, uh, let's just fuck the guns. Too bad it doesn't stick the walls. I wonder if I can combine those with the mine template. This place is serious. Oh, good. They're finally just as soon as I decide to say run away. Anyways, Praxis Kit! And you know what that means? That means we have. Hacking level 5. Now it's time to get down to business. Now we can hack through anything we damn well please. And I'm going to start with the building directly above the gas station, believe it or not, because there's a small one thing in there that is worth showing off. Oh, they got the... Put this away, though. I don't need it. I can just sneak past everyone here. Not an easy thing to do. In fact, I do believe I could have made this easier on myself before. Oh, come on. You gotta be fucking real. Oh, he's moving away. Okay. Everyone past this point is just random people. Right, they're just citizens who don't have a home. They're not actually gangsters, and that means they're not going to rat me out. Because there's nothing to rat me out about. Alright, now... Oh! Fuck me! 
<laughs> Whoops! Not going that way! Okay, there's gotta be an easier way out. Um... Uh-oh. I might have to go that way. I actually think that'll let me out, but I have to be careful about it. And I can probably just... Yeah, I can't go through that gate. I have to go back up that way. Shit. Hopefully without getting seen immediately after I pop out, out of the gate. I like the automatic saving right then and there. Let's quick save right here. Keep out of this handler. Get lost. Keep running, asshole. Fine, I'll just leave. Don't shoot me. <laughs> there, you happy? Thank you. I didn't know if I could run for it, that's why I didn't do it immediately. Hmm, now, where was I going next? Right, I can talk to Jenny. I think I have everything to talk to Jenny. And I was going to say I was going to demonstrate the weapon crossbow, but I don't think I can do it without setting it off. Because even though it says derelict row, I tend to get in trouble if I make any noise anywhere in this area. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. Damn straight we do. Complete the quest. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. And the impressive point. You identified the shipment completely unnoticed, and my guys got their hands on Double T. Awesome job. What else you got? Uh, I got the crossbow. I'll give Here's you Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. He's got a thing for the theatrical. He likes to feel the crossbow. I'm a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. Evidence? I paid a little B and E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? No, that about covers it. I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? Almost sounds right, like the plot to really Saints Row 2. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. Thank you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, oh, and I okay. want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? Yes, let's go punch him. It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. This has been a pretty bad recording so far in terms of scrub game quality. I have a second process running in the background. I had no choice on the matter. So if you've been noticing extra hiccups, it's because of that. Hey, random guy. Like that? Like that one right there? Yeah, that. Now that leads to the area, that's, if you're wondering where this goes, like that one there, I came from the other direction at one point, that's the direction I can't go without the arm upgrade to lift the dumpster. Now we'll probably have it by the time we get back here, but there's no reason to have it this early. Jesus H. Christ! Okay. Now, we're going to confront O'Malley in the bomb apartment, which he has apparently gone back to for reasons unknown. Instead of, you know, fleeing the city. Okay, let's take, let's have a discussion with Mr. O'Malley. Hi, O'Malley. Now, do I even want to talk to him? Because, actually, I can just going to talk to him right here. I could just punch him in the face and walk out the door. Mr. Jensen. I'm actually going to hear what he got to don't say. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete. Uh, why not? Treachery? You lie, steal, murder, manipulate, and cheat on a daily basis. Men like you shouldn't even be allowed to use the word treachery. Your little outburst is quite amusing, Mr. I gotta agree with him there, Jensen. You're not all that threatening. I an insult. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I strongly suggest you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I 
won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. Now, when I said you can't do this guy's side of the quest, you are able to take this. I'm listening. I don't resent you for what you did. You played your cards and alliances well, and it's something I can respect. Still, it doesn't mean that I accept defeat. I'm willing to transfer to you a rather enviable sum in exchange for my freedom. And that sum? 5,000 credits. No, it's not fucking worth it. I don't think so. No more games. You're going down. So be it. Oh yeah! Into the chair. That's my favorite one. The tap on the shoulder, haymaker attack. Although we had no reason to use that on him because he already knew we were in the room. But fuck it, it's my favorite and I love how we used it to take him down. Dude's bleeding his head out into the ground right now. I don't even know if that counts as a uh, non-lethal takedown. Jenny is right around the corner. Hello, Jenny. You blend in like a sore thumb. So? Now, what happened? What's what the fucking... Okay, hello, my name is... So someone got a gigantic fucking scream to pray spray that on there? He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've and always liked your style, Jensen. Teeth, I, just out of I know I've said it a couple of times already, but thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? Hey. Good luck with... Well, whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. This guy has a personality of a dump truck. I really don't get how these women see anything in him. Well, we have completed that quest in its entirety, and it took us an entire episode to do it. This is actually a pretty long episode at that. Oh, look, another one of these. Wow, wow. Who the fuck put these here? The hello, my name is shit. Hello, my name is lies. You gangsters don't have a good sense of humor. Anyways, this has been the entirety of an episode just for this one quest, and it was a good one in my opinion. Other than that, I'll see you next episode. Jesus Christ, Wagner. You eat your fucking steroid weedies this morning? They are fucking dead. Three shotgun blasts. Watch this guy. He's gonna take one and drop like a match. Like, boom! Look at that. Right under the ground.